On today's episode of Taste of Memory, we'll be preparing these all-natural, tasty canine biscuits. They're super easy to make, so let's have some fun in the kitchen today. But first, let's have a look at our ingredients. Two cups of 100% whole oats, one cup of all natural peanut butter. You can find all these ingredients in your local health food stores. Three beautifully ripened bananas. These have been sitting out for a few days, so they're good and ripe. And then one medium size, room temperature egg. And that's it. Pretty simple ingredients. And using just a standard blender, we're going to begin breaking down our oats. We want them down into a flour-like consistency, making it easy for mixing. And as always, safety comes first in the kitchen. By the way, always remember that working with any wild animals this process can be dangerous. Yeah, to your cooking equipment. Yeah, you're not so innocent. I know you had a role to play in this. Make sure to stick around after the episode. We have some outtakes that you'll enjoy. Now back to our blending. Adding just a cup or even a half at a time will not overwhelm the blending process and it'll make sure to get that nice flour type consistency. Of course, if there are any large chunks left over, it just adds character to the biscuits. Time to get mixing our ingredients. As always, begin with the wet first, and our egg goes in, mixing it down, setting up the base as we always do with our recipes and baking. Next, we take our banana. Just in a short time, the banana sat in the air after mashing. It browned up even more. And of course, here we go with the senses. The scent of the banana in the kitchen, it's already just so nice. Next in, our all-natural peanut butter. As always, we're using our red spatula. With the scent of banana and peanut butter now floating in the air, Nimbus and Flynn are starting to circle around me. The best part about these biscuits is you know exactly what's going into them. So you know exactly what your dog is getting. Next, we add our floured oatmeal. Just a bit at a time. You'll notice that there are still some large bits of oatmeal left. Again, it just adds character to the biscuits. Now we're going to go ahead and fold this all in together. And while we're doing that, it would be a good time to talk about our taste of memory fact of the day. Did you know that like us, our canine loved ones are also susceptible to developing neurocognitive disorders, such as dementia. As always, seek veterinarian assistance when your pet is acting in ways that just aren't usual for their normal behavior. And now, when we have to surrender our spatula and just get in there with our hands and begin working the biscuit dough. 
Soon we'll begin transferring directly to our countertop where we'll begin kneading the biscuit dough as if we were kneading a loaf of bread. That reminds me, that would be a good episode for the future. Homemade bread. With just some all natural whole wheat flour, coat your countertop. Don't be shy with it. It makes it so much easier once you cut out the biscuits that they just lift easy from the countertop. Now begin kneading your biscuit dough for roughly two minutes. Before moving on to the next step, make sure to set your oven at 350. And now we're going to begin rolling out our biscuit dough with just a standardized roller. Using the palms, roll back and forth in an X pattern. And what we want to do is get our dough down to roughly a quarter inch to a half really all depends on how thick and or thin you want your canine biscuits to be. Once we're done rolling out to our desired thickness, we begin cutting out. I got this cutter at the dollar store. And even though these guys were naughty earlier on, they're still the stars in my life, so I thought the star would be appropriate. Then we're gonna transfer the cutouts to our cookie tray with parchment paper. Once we have them evenly spaced on our cookie tray, we're gonna put them in the oven for 15 minutes at 350. Then we're gonna turn the oven off, leave them sit in the oven for two hours to harden up. And the end result are these beautiful, all natural canine biscuits. Thank you for being with us today on Taste of Memory. After all, when it comes to our extended furry family, we love them and we'll do anything for them. The most important thing we can do is make sure that we maintain a healthy diet for them. These cookies weren't designed as a meal replacement, rather just as a treat or reward. And always remember, if your pet is showing any unusual behaviors, get them to your local vet as soon as possible. We want them around as long as we can have them. Thank you for joining us this week at the Taste of Memory and look forward to next week's episode. And remember, please subscribe if you wanna see more of these guys. Take care. Okay, those cookies needed to be baked for you guys first. Okay, this is cut.